Nirvana was one of the darling bands of the underground and, suddenly, you become an overwhelming sensation that sells millions of records. This comes with tremendous pressure, doesn't it? Yeah, it has been a tremendous pressure for us, until there comes a time when you decide to move on from it. The root of all this is the music we make, and that is still something that comes exclusively from within us. Once we clarified our ideas, and settled our position, it was different. Personally, now I think I feel much better. The truth is that there are certain things that I don't give a damn about. And on the other hand, situations arise. I'm not willing to get involved in everything that's happening around us. That side of rock and roll doesn't matter to me, it's stupid. Perhaps that is the result of mental fatigue, tours, interviews. Ah, no. I'm not tired of anything. I just have to, uh, you know, everything you do has to satisfy you. You have to manage to bring out the best in you. I am very grateful for everything that has happened to us in recent months. Regardless of the position in which I may find myself personally because of certain events. Well, for a rock band with a punk ethic, to now become a millionaire must also have a bright positive side. There are things you cannot refuse. Do tours, give interviews, do promotion. What I appreciate most about all this is that we now have direct and privileged access to the media. Our music remains the same, but the media have now made it known to many people. This allows us to present our ideas and our points of view to a huge audience. Today I can communicate with many people on many topics, something that was impossible before. As an individual, to what extent has your life changed? As I don't want to be a celebrity, my inner life hasn't changed, at least enormously. On the material plane I have a much more comfortable existence, I can see other places, I can do things that a year ago I would never have imagined. Look, now I'm here, in a bullring in Valencia. It's amazing. So, when you left Sub Pop, did you do it convinced that you would end up sweeping? No, it goes, not at all. When we were in Sub Pop we got used to the lack of possibilities of an independent label. All those tribulations, the lack of means, the independent ones can strangle you with their small infrastructure, you know what I mean. There is no future, that's why we looked for a major, we were fed up with the bad distribution of our albums, we wanted stability. Everyone around us told us that what we were going to do was foolish, but we kept going. What will the next Nirvana album be like? It will be different from Nevermind, for us it is a kind of challenge. Nevermind has been a success due to the circumstances. We handed it over to DGC, and told them to take it, or leave it. I hope the next LP is not so successful, it can't be like Nevermind. It will be harder, more rock, more wild. With Dave Grohl, it seems that you have found the right drummer. We also didn't have as many drummers before Dave. It is true that they came and went, but Dave is perfect. He fully adapted to Nirvana. He has everything, energy, image, and thought. Kurt said in an interview that, to preserve the good relationship between you, he has decided to separate his personal life a bit from the two of you. Success has also had a negative influence on us, although not in that sense. It has stressed us out, it has made us nervous. Our ethics make us a bit uneasy to see that we're a part of the mainstream. We're working class kids who are adored by people who previously ignored us. Fuck them. Nothing is going to change the way I think. With that, I'm very optimistic. Are you going ahead with the support policy for the bands you like? We always do what we like, and presenting new proposals to the public is part of it. I don't think the bands we love have it better to be successful, but if you look at it, they are groups with easy to listen songs. I'm talking about people like Shonen Knife or Captain America. But every time I watch the MTV Top 10, I keep seeing the same old shit. No, I don't think it's that easy to get that impact. How is your relationship with DGC? As we sell many records they leave us alone, we can do whatever we want. Everything related to the business brings it fresh. I'm not interested in executives, their politics or their campaigns. It's shit, I don't like it, it's none of my business. At first I was worried about it but because it made me so sick, I decided to pull away. What do you think of the socio-political situation in the United States, of the racial riots? The Rodney King case was the last straw. Those riots have been going on for years in people's minds, that incident served to materialize them. Anger, leisure and fear are still there, they still exist, although they have returned to the bottle from which they came. American values are too materially based. 
They are obsessed since childhood with TV, purchasing power, and take themselves too seriously. We are not on this planet for long, not long enough to get wrapped in plastic, glass, steel and all the consumer materialism. People aren't always wise, and they are extremely insecure, and many live by dogmatic ideologies, and then hairstyles, and clothes. Any kind of major change startles them. And the changes are something natural, the continents change, the day turns into night. There is a transition, because it is normal that there is one. And how do you feel being stuck in that consumer wheel? Imagine it. Six or seven million of your records all over the world. It's amazing. I don't know what to think. Everyone has their own way of approaching it. Everyone has a natural inclination towards melodies. I could be cynical and say that I don't give a damn. But I don't. What about all those lawsuits that are raining you lately? All those are rubbish. Shit. Parasites. The karma wheel always keeps going, fortunately. Who do you think you are? John Wayne. John Wayne Gacy? Sicko. Uh, $800. Of course, you want to Mine costs about $800 too.